What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a modern classic cocktail called the Pan Daisy by uh, New York based bartender Corey Fitzsimmons. Uh, what I really like about this cocktail and what I think it illustrates for everyone and why it's important for everyone to have it, other than that it's just a delicious drink, is that it shows you that sometimes to make something new and bold and different, all you need to do is take a classic and tweak it just a little bit. So basically what this, what what Corey did with this cocktail is uh, take a daisy, a gin daisy, and then just tiki-fy it with the addition of Don's Mix. And basically what Don's Mix is, is a um, fit, it's like a, it's a two to one ratio of grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. And again, it kind of gives it this nice kind of sort of tiki vibe because that flavor is what a lot of people associate with tiki because it was used in so many Don the Beachcomber recipes. All right, let's get into the drink. A, a drink. Enough jibba jabba coming from your gabba, I guess. Enough jibba jabba coming from your gabba. I like that. That rhymes. I actually, hey, just so you know, I said it first. All right, three quarters of an ounce of fresh grapefruit juice into our tin. And then we're gonna do half an ounce. All right, so not quite a two to one ratio but half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Um, if you do not know how to make cinnamon syrup, just make a one-to-one -one simple syrup. Take two or three uh, sticks of cinnamon. You, I like to use Ceylon cinnamon, but if you wanna use the cassia bark, you can. Crush them all up, throw them in there, simmer it on the stove for five minutes. Let it sit for at least three hours, preferably overnight. Double strain, you got your cinnamon syrup, and it's a wonderful thing. And then we're gonna be doing a quarter of an ounce of aquavit. We're using ahus aquavit. Is that pronounced? Ohus, sorry. Marius pronounces, uh, he corrects my pronunciation on these so that you guys don't have to. Uh, ohus aquavit. Um, I think that the Swedish style aquavit is gonna go best in this cocktail. We're gonna do a quarter of an ounce. And then just a quarter ounce of, if I can get it open. This is like, look at that. What happened? It like the interior came off. The screwy part is not fused on in a Cointreau bottle and it just sort of came off. See, now it's on there. But I guess if there's enough sugar on the side, then it's gonna, but it's gonna, um, what's a separate or whatever, but at least we got it off. All right, we're doing quarter ounce. Enough of that, quarter ounce, Cointreau. And then, One and a half ounces of Plymouth gin. Yes, a rebub. We're gonna preload our wonderfully cut ice rock into our old fashioned glass and it's gonna sit nicely and bigly and bigly in, in the glass. I don't wanna say who said that first. We're gonna add our ice into our tin. Give it a nice shake. Now just remember guys, that uh, you want to make sure that you pair your big rock of ice with the volume of your glass. I'm using a nice big, at least 11 ounce, if not 12 ounce, uh, a double old fashioned for this one. So there you have it. Uh, and then we're just going to double strain into a drink. And then you guys are asking yourself, what did Leandro forget? He even did a nice garnish, but I did forget something in this episode. I wanna like, Mimarius kind of really sort of did this garnish for us. And the way that he did the peel is really nice. I hope it sits in the glass. There you go, that, I, I like that. I forgot uh, the last garnish, which is, luckily my spice drawer is right here. Some freshly grated nutmeg. And I had the grater out earlier too. I, and there it is, right next to me. Look at that. Didn't really have to go anywhere. I was gonna go digging around in a drawer back there. So we're just gonna grate a little nutmeg on top of this wonderful drink, the Pan Daisy. There we have it. Let's take a sipple. Um, That's interesting, that's great. So you got the gin 
and the cinnamon syrup and the aquavit. Yes, I like this. Corey Fitzsimmons, you are a genius. Oh my gosh, that is wonderfully refreshing. It's nice and cold too. Um, you get the nutmeg and the cinnamon syrup with the gin is just phenomenal, but then you get like a little bit of that like caraway dill from the aquavit. Uh, and then also the, uh, the Cointreau kind of gives it like a, a little orange like kick. So simple, so good. Oh, mm. I love that. Well, there you have it, my friends, the Pan Daisy. Go and drink that. I hope that my reaction to this drink was enough for you guys to just drop everything you're doing, go get these ingredients, and make this drink. It is phenomenal. It is worth your consideration. You should drink it, and it's a good one for the summer. I will see you guys next time. But before you go, hit subscribe. And hit the bell so that you won't, uh, so that when you... I, there for the longest time, I had no idea what that bell does. And what that bell does is actually notify you every time we do a video so you don't have to miss out on all the good stuff we're doing. And if you like our channel, other than doing that, you should check us out on Patreon. We've got some exclusive content dropping there. There's some stuff that does not go to YouTube that does go to those uh, wonderful people who help us out on Patreon, which goes a very long way in helping us bring you this awesome content and extra content. So check us out there, patreon.com slash The Educated Barfly. I will see you next time.